Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to be going over partially versus fully compensated arterial blood gas practice problems. Now after you watch this YouTube video, don't forget to access the free quiz that will give you more ABG practice problems. So let's get started. Now in our previous video on how to solve ABG practice problems, we used the tic-tac-toe method. But sometimes whenever you use the tic-tac-toe method, you may notice that you don't get a tic-tac-toe where you get those three in a row. And when that happens, you have to further analyze these values that you are given. And you have to ask yourself, am I dealing with partial or full compensation? And is this a respiratory or metabolic problem? So in this video, we are going to tackle those issues. Now, before you even attempt to answer ABG problems, you have to commit some normal lab values to your memory. So let's go over those. First is blood pH. A normal blood pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Anything less than 7.35 is considered acidotic. Anything greater than 7.45 is considered alkalotic, so basic. Next is PaCO2. This is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So it represents our respiratory system, and remember that. A normal PaCO2 is anywhere between 35 to 45. Now these numbers are flipped whenever, if you set up a table like this, anything greater than 45 is considered an acid. Anything less than 35 is considered alkalotic, so remember that as well. The last thing I want you to remember is the bicarb, the HCO3. This represents metabolic, hence our renal system. And normal values for bicarb is 22 to 26. Anything less than 22 is considered an acid, and anything greater than 26 is considered alkalotic. Now, whenever we're dealing with ABG problems and we have compensation going on, especially full compensation, we have to look at that blood pH to help us determine if we have a respiratory or a metabolic problem. Now, I said that a normal blood pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Now let's further analyze it. The absolute normal for a blood pH is 7.40. So that's like right in the middle of 7.35 to 7.45. And if we had some full compensation going on, meaning our pH is back to normal, so some system, either the respiratory system or the metabolic system, has helped put us back to normal. And you're gonna see with these ABGs is that the respiratory and the renal system, metabolic system, is always trying to balance that blood pH out. It will either increase the bicarb, lower the bicarb, increase the carbon dioxide, or lower the, the carbon dioxide to help get that blood pH back to normal. And depending on what side of the spectrum, in a sense, that this value of blood pH is falling from that absolute normal can tell us, is it a little bit more on the acidotic side or is that blood pH a little bit more on the alkalotic side? So let's go over this. The absolute normal was 7.40 and 7.35 to 7.45 is our normal. So any value of a blood pH that's normal, that it falls between 7.35 to 7.40, is on the acidotic side. And any blood pH that falls between 7.40 to 7.45 is on the alkalotic side. Now it's still normal, but it's falling either more on the acidotic or alkalotic side. So let's go over a few practice problems. Okay, the first problem I wanna go over is something where we don't have any compensation going on, and then we're gonna add on partial compensation, full compensation, and you can see how these values are changing and how we're getting our answers using the tic-tac-toe method and looking at those normal values that we've commit to memory. So our problem is our pH is 7.22, our PaCO2 is 49, and our bicarb is 24. So we have our tic-tac-toe set up, and we have acid over here, normal over here, alkalotic here. If you're not familiar with that, how to do the tic-tac-toe method, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so we're gonna look at each of these values, and we're gonna put them in the column that they go. And we're looking for a tic-tac-toe. And again, as I said at the beginning of the lecture, if we have some type of especially full compensation going on, we're not going to get a tic-tac-toe because our pH will be normal. Okay, so pH is 7.22. What's the normal value? 7.35 to 7.45. 
So it's less than 7.35, so we know it's acidotic. So we're gonna put our pH here. Our PaCO2, which represents the respiratory system, is 49. Normal PaCO2 is 35 to 45. Since it's 49, it's greater than 45, it's on the acidotic side. So we're gonna put it over here. Oh, we have a tic-tac-toe right here. But we're not done yet. Let's mess with our bicarb. Our bicarb is 24. What's a normal bicarb? 22 to 26. This is normal, it's falling within normal range. So we'll put that here. Well, looking at this, we know that we have acidosis going on and we have respiratory acidosis because PaCO2 represents respiratory. So we have respiratory acidosis. Now, do we have compensation going on? That's the next thing you ask yourself. And the answer is no. And how do I know that we don't have compensation going on? Well, our blood pH is abnormal still. It hasn't been corrected. It's not falling within its normal range. And the system that helps balance everything out, either the respiratory or the metabolic system, it's still normal. Our bicarb isn't trying to throw itself in an abnormal range to help combat this acidotic. So it could, if it was going to compensate, it would start increasing itself to make things a little bit more alkalotic, but it's not doing that. So this is uncompensated. So we have respiratory acidosis uncompensated. Now let's look at that same problem again, but let's change a value. Let's change our bicarb. Instead of being 24, let's make it 28. So we know that we still have respiratory acidosis going on because our blood pH is low and our PaCO2 is high, putting it on the acidotic side. However, our bicarb now is not normal. It's 28, so it is greater than 26, so it's on the alkalotic side. So we'll put it over here. Now, next thing we wanna ask ourselves, do we have compensation going on? Yes, we do. Now, is it full compensation or partial compensation? It is partial compensation. How do I know that? Well, it would be only full compensation if our blood pH was normal. Once that blood pH is normal, either the respiratory or the metabolic system has helped balance that blood pH out and got it normal. However, it's not normal here. It's still abnormal, so it's partially compensated. We have the metabolic system trying to increase our bicarb to help balance out these acidotic conditions because by trying to make it more basic, the blood will hopefully push that blood pH a little bit higher to make it normal. So we have respiratory acidosis that is partially compensated. Now let's look at our next problem. Okay, our blood pH is 7.42, our PaCO2 is 32, and our bicarb is 18. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into our tic-tac-toe. So our blood pH, what's a normal blood pH? 7.35 to 7.45. And this falls within normal range, so our pH is normal. Now right now you should be thinking compensation, full compensation, because we have got our blood pH back to normal. But let's look at those other values. Okay, PCO2, which represents the respiratory system, is 32. Normal range is 35 to 45. It's on that low side, so it's alkalotic. So we'll put it under here. And our bicarb is 18. Normal bicarb is 22 to 26. It's less than 22, so it's on the acidotic side. Now this is when you've set up your tic-tac-toe and you look and you're like, I don't have a tic-tac-toe. But we know that we have full compensation going on because our blood pH is back to normal. However, we have to determine is this respiratory or metabolic problem. And to help us do that, we have to further look at this blood pH. So even though our blood pH is within range at 7.42, what side of the spectrum is it falling on? Is it on that acidotic side or is it on the alkalotic side? And it falls on the alkalotic side. So what's happened is that our bicarb has decreased and it's trying to make things a little bit more acidic in that blood to bring that high alkalotic blood 
back down. So our bicarb is out of whack because it's been trying to do that and it's achieved it because we have full compensation. But it's still a little bit that blood pH on the alkalotic side. And it's originated from a respiratory issue. So it's respiratory alkalosis with full compensation. Now let's look at our next problem. Our blood pH is 7.37, our PaCO2 is 33, and our bicarb is 17. So let's plug it in. Our pH falls within normal range. It falls within 7.35 to 7.45. So we'll be put it here, and you should already be thinking, ooh, compensation, our pH is normal. We probably have full compensation, but let's look at our other values. Our PaCO2 is 33, normal, is 35 to 45, it falls less than 35, so it's on the alkalotic side. So we put it here, and again, that represents the respiratory system. And then our bicarb is 17, so it's less than 22, so it's on the acidotic side. And bicarb, again, represented the metabolic part. So we see that we have full compensation going on. We don't have a tic-tac-toe, so we had to look further at our blood pH. And it's normal, so we have full compensation. But is this respiratory or metabolic? So we have to look at blood pH closely. A normal blood pH, the absolute normal, is 7.40. Ours is 7.37. So it's on the acidotic side. So we have metabolic acidosis going on that is fully compensated and how it got fully compensated is because that respiratory system tried to decrease the carbon dioxide and whenever it does that it's making things more alkalotic to help push that blood pH higher into that normal range and it did but it's still on the acidotic side but it finally got it to normal and achieved what it was supposed to do now let's say that this was 7.27 instead so that changes things a little bit here our blood ph is now 7.27 so it's not normal anymore it's fell less than 7.35 so it's on the acidotic side so let's move it over here. Now, this has changed things a little bit. Do we have full compensation going on anymore? Nope, we have partial compensation. And I want you to see that. Because we have our tic-tac-toe, so we have metabolic acidosis, and we have partial compensation. The PaCO2 has taken itself out of normal range to make things more alkalotic, but it hasn't corrected it yet by making that blood pH become normal. So this would be metabolic acidosis partially compensated. Okay, so that wraps up this video over partially versus fully compensated ABGs. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.